So Laurie and I have just arrived in Richmond where there's apparently a fox been stuck in the middle of a fountain for about three days. Oh, there he is. How did you manage to get in there? Get everything ready in case he does a, a bunk, which we really don't want him to do. If it escapes now, you see, I don't get the blame. I like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, try and get the ladder over and then shimmy down that really slowly, see if we can get him on there. The likelihood is he's just going to run around that. Oh, he's up. He's up, Laurie. Right, he's in the wall. Hold that. Go. We're Round this side. Round this side. In the water. He's back out. I've got a it's nasty out wound on his right rump. Really nasty. Okay. Um, well, do you want to do that? I'll go over there with the grass for I'll try and get him on that. And if he goes in, you've got the net. Yeah. Coming your way. And then. Oh, here he comes. Get rid of Laurie. You got him? You good? Yep. All right, the fella. All right, the fella. Watch this and get you. Watch him. All right, happy? Okay, we've got that. Come on, buddy. Ready? Yep. You got the door? I got the door. All right, fella. All right, fella. Yeah. All right, fella. All right, secure, yeah. happy. <laughs> what? There's quite an audience now, I hadn't realised it. <laughs> right, we've caught ourselves a fox. Right guys, we've got a fox. Um, quite lively, but he has quite a large, what looks like a burst abscess. With the fox lightly sedated to reduce the stress of examination, it was over to Tim, one of our vets, to assess the injury. It doesn't look too bad, aside from the pond weed, it's just very deep. Luckily, although looking very nasty, the wound had not resulted in catastrophic muscle damage and Tim set to work on a treatment plan. Once the wound was thoroughly flushed to remove the remnants of the pond weed, the area was cleaned and a special hydrocolloid dressing was suited into place to encourage the healing process. With the short surgery complete, the fox was transferred into one of our quieter fox pens to recover. Wounds like this can take quite a time to heal, but we are sure that given a little time and lots of care, this fox will be able to return to the wild once more. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button. And make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.